Hey guys, how's it going? Lone Hippie here. Hope everyone's been well. So if you guys have been watching, uh, or at least have seen a couple of my videos or have watched for a bit, um, yeah, I've been posting for roughly about a year and a half. It's mostly been shorts, but that is kind of the reason why I wanted to, to talk in this video today. I've been mostly doing the shorts because I've been working quite a bit as of recently. Um, to give a bit of context, I've been living in Thailand for roughly about two years now. And um, yeah, I've been working as an online or rather a freelance English teacher. And of course, on paper, that sounds fantastic, right? Okay, you get to do freelance, you get to work abroad, you get to... You get to you get to work your own schedule well reality isn't necessarily the case and uh, there are quite a few reasons why um uh also first of all if you guys see me looking down a lot it's because i uh, wrote myself some guiding questions to answer so <laughs> forgive me for that but to start off with uh why i've been living abroad or why did i choose to put myself in this position so the, the long and short of that is, um, for one, uh, <laughs> to put it simply, I, I don't want to live the same typical life that, that many people get to live, right? Just to pick a name, nothing, not that I have anything against this name, but let's say John, right? Let's say John, you graduate from high school, you go to college, you, you, you go and achieve all the same things that everyone else is doing, right? You, you go and get it, you, you work at a company for like, let's say 20 years, but then suddenly the company is a layoff and then you only realize that you've just been a number to this company the whole time, not, not a genuine person, right? Yeah, that fucking sucks. I don't want to be in that position. And not only that, but getting to live abroad, getting to experience a different culture, a different way of being, it is, it is not only hugely beneficial to just get to think in other perspectives, but also like, yeah, it's, it's a typical life that many people don't choose to live. And so, yeah, it's kind of nice to get to experience that. And not only with that, but also to give a more earnest or honest answer when, when I was young, not to take a kind of like a somber route, but when I was young, my mom had passed away roughly when I was about eight years old. And, uh, she had never, she, she didn't really get to, uh, live as adventurously. And so for that reason, um, when something that dramatic happens when you're a kid, yeah, it kind of teaches you in a way to just live your life, right? You never know what's going to happen at any point. You don't know if, if tomorrow may be your last, so might as well just live life to the fullest. And so for that reason, I don't, I'm not upset or I, I will never take back all the work that it took to get me to this position. I had to work. I had to work and save up a lot of money to even just get myself here. I, I had worked retail for a number of years. I had worked security for a while as well. I, I also worked in e-commerce and now English teaching. So so it took me quite a while to get me to this point and, and took a lot of work. And um, uh, yeah, I, I had to I, I had to work multiple jobs at the same time to pay off debts, pay off school debt in order to get myself to this point to be able to sit here and talk to you from my apartment in Bangkok right now. However, in order to, to keep continuing living this way, it's, it's also pretty difficult. Uh, as I mentioned before, I have been working as a freelance English teacher. And like I said, on paper, it sounds great. However, the, the thing that I didn't initially, initially think or realize, or maybe many people, may, maybe you might have not thought of as well, is that if you're working freelance, sure, all right, you get to work whatever hours. However, 
people on the other side, the, the students who, who are going to be attending your classes, they're only going to attend when it is most applicable to their schedule. So what does that mean? That means a lot of people, depending on where they're from, of course, uh, a lot of people are either joining early morning so that they can get their lesson out of the way and start their day, or they're doing it after work in the afternoon. So then that means, just to give some perspective, um, I, I work on Cambly, at least that's one project of mine. And um, uh, via Cambly, I do get to talk to people from every country. It's great. I get to meet a lot of different people from many different stretches of the imagination. And it's wonderful. I enjoy it. I, I really do. Um, but like I said, you're having to pretty much adjust yourself according to other regular schedule, right? So then just to get perspective, let's say in Thailand, it's like, it's like 10 a.m., right? Well, what does that mean? Okay, if you have a student in Brazil, that's going to be very late at night. So then the earlier that you start working, the better, the, the more students that, then you can actually start teaching. But like I said, I'm working for multiple projects. Uh, so that means I have to adjust my schedule according to these different projects, according to each student. So then that means to give like a, a kind of daily rundown of what my, my schedule has been like. There's some weeks like this week and, and last week where I'm literally waking up, I'm literally starting work at 9 to 10 a.m. and finishing at 10 p.m. That, that includes from everything from lesson planning to, to actually teaching to actually like uh, booking schedules and dealing with schedules and deal, dealing with all the drama uh, with that. So having to uh, deal with with overbookings or even uh, double bookings and stuff like that. All the drama happens within them. But then also you will have other weeks where it's like totally dead, where maybe you receive very little work and then you get very little money. So during the busy weeks, you do make a lot of money and that's great. But then the other weeks, you do not make so much money. And then that sucks because then you have to, it, it's, it's never constant and that's a tough thing um uh so that's a little bit about the misconceptions and work-life balance um uh also to give a better perspective um one thing that many people don't think about so uh, let me give an example so let's say you make okay fifteen dollars let's say that that you're working let's say You've got a good gig. You're making $15 per hour teaching. Wow. On paper, living abroad, that sounds fantastic, right? That's not necessarily the case, right? Because for every lesson that you do, you also have to do lesson planning. I don't know. Maybe it's different for different English teachers or different for different circumstances. But for me, that's equal to about... Uh, at least 30 minutes to an hour lesson planning plus an hour of work. So in reality, that $15 an hour is more like, okay, 10, maybe seven, maybe even less than that, depending on these lessons, right? So yeah, you don't make as much as, as you do see on paper, right? You, on paper, you look at it, wow, $15 an hour, fantastic, all right. My rent is X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 blah. But then you realize that there are at least two hours for every one teaching hour, ideally. It, of course, like I said, it depends. So uh, the main point I am making this video is that to give the long and short, it, it's been really tough. And I, I do enjoy teaching. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's really nice to get a student who who you connect with and they they really like you and you guys have really great chemistry as a teacher student and they're able to improve it's fantastic as a teacher to see that it's great to see someone improve who you've been talking to for quite a while um once once you have a student who always practices or speaks in the present tense ibc friends yesterday 
I be see friends tomorrow, right? And once you begin to see them improve, I will see my friends tomorrow. I went to see my friends yesterday. Once you begin to see that, it's fantastic. It's so rewarding, both for the student as well as the teacher. But with that being said, it's not ultimately my end goal. Uh, I do enjoy teaching, but uh, the reason why I've been posting shorts and everything on YouTube is because an ultimate dream and goal would be to be in a position in which I'm working for myself and, and also <laughs> working for myself and then also uh, not having a boss basically breathing down my neck all the time, right? To, to get to work for myself, work for my own hours. Yeah, it sounds like the dream. And yeah, working freelance is a step closer to that. However, when you're living abroad, you're, you're kind of stuck with what you're able to get. If you're like me, in the position that I'm in, I've been here for about two years. That means that, <clears throat> excuse me, that means that, of course, long-term visas only become more and more expensive. Sure, you, you go and take an EB visa for learning Thai. You, you also take a learning visa, let's say, okay, doing cuisine. But then those options begin to run out over time. Currently, I'm, I'm doing an ED visa for, for boxing. I genuinely really enjoy it. Yeah, it's, I'm getting to learn self-defense. It's great exercise, and it's a lot of fun. But because of how much I'm working... I I haven't even been to the boxing gym for two weeks now. That's that's ridiculous, right? Especially if it's something that in happy circumstance, I should be able to do that because I paid for this visa. I paid for these classes to be able to do it, but I can't do it because I'm working 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., either lesson planning, giving lessons, or whatever it may be. It's just, it's just chaotic, <laughs> to put it simply. All right, to, to wrap everything up, um, yeah, so people tend to look at living abroad and, and being in a position to work freelance uh, with rose-colored goggles, right? You get to spend time at the beach, you get to spend time doing this, blah, 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 you get to eat the best food in that country. Yeah, that is all true. But at the same time, you have to kind of accept the circumstances in which you can only be put in, right? So, I mean, to give a bit of perspective with how much I'm able, with how much I am working now, I am staying in a studio here in Bangkok. What you see here is what I got. So, like, uh, I don't have a problem living here. I, I really don't, but at the same time, like, as much as I work and compared to other people that I meet and they, like, basically spit, <laughs> maybe that's not a great example, they barely do anything for work and they're able to afford so much more. Now, if you're living abroad and you have some sort of other income that, 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 that helps support you while you're doing it, that's fantastic. Um... All the power to you, of course, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, it, it's, it's a tough road and that's kind of why I wanted to make this video today is to say that like, well, first of all, I really do enjoy posting on YouTube and like, of course I post content about plants and then it also getting to look back on the videos and be like, oh wow, okay, I remember when that plant was that tiny, oh my God. right? <laughs> it's nice. Um, and also... It's, it's engaging. I get to talk to people through there. And also, yeah, I get to post content that I want to, that I'm actually interested in. But, yeah, I haven't been able to do that because how much I'm working recently. And so that's basically the, the long and short of it. Um, I don't think I left anything out. I think that's about it. But, yeah, I, I hope there was something at least useful in it. You guys stuck to the end. I highly appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.